Finland, often hailed as the land of a thousand lakes, is a country that holds a treasure trove of surprises and secrets. From its unique cultural quirks to its stunning natural landscapes, there's so much more to this Nordic gem than meets the eye. In this video, we're going to uncover 15 fascinating facts about Finland that are bound to leave you amazed and intrigued. Number 1. Happiest Country in the World According to the UN's World Happiness Report, Finland has claimed the title of the world's happiest country, not once, not twice, but for an impressive six years in a row. Now, that's quite an achievement. It boils down to a unique blend of factors that make Finland stand out. One of the key reasons behind Finland's happiness reign is its exceptional healthcare system, providing top-notch services for its citizens. Accessible and reliable healthcare is a cornerstone of any thriving society, and Finland has truly mastered this. On top of that, the nation boasts a healthy income distribution, reducing economic inequalities and ensuring a higher quality of life for its residents. Finland truly shines in the social support department. The sense of community and togetherness is deeply ingrained in Finnish culture. People here genuinely look out for one another, creating a safety net that fosters happiness and well-being. Finland believes that happiness is a skill, and they're not keeping it to themselves. They're offering an incredible opportunity for 10 lucky individuals to attend an all-expenses-paid masterclass in June, where they'll learn the art of happiness firsthand. Imagine that, a chance to be mentored in the very heart of happiness itself. Number 2. Almost half of Finland's foreign population lives in Helsinki. In the vibrant city of Helsinki, 73,000 residents hold foreign citizenship. Now, when you compare that to the entire country's foreign population of about 324,000, it's quite astonishing. Helsinki has a total of 350,809 households, and on average, they consist of 1.8 persons. That's a unique dynamic. Zooming out to the Helsinki region, we find an even more interesting statistic. Here, there are 75,596 foreign national residents, accounting for about 5.7% of the region's population. Now let's compare this to Finland as a whole. Across the entire nation, there are 155,705 foreign national residents, which makes up about 2.9% of the total population. These numbers really highlight the cosmopolitan nature of Helsinki. It's a true melting pot, attracting people from all walks of life. The city's diverse community is what makes it so unique and vibrant. Number 3. Finns are the world's biggest coffee drinkers. When most people think of Europe's coffee capital, they might imagine Italy or France. But surprise? Surprise? It's actually Finland that takes the lead. The average Finn consumes 12 kilograms of coffee every single year. To put it in perspective, that's roughly like finishing off 480 cups of coffee in 365 days. Can you imagine downing 8 cups of coffee in a day? Well, for Finns, that's just another Tuesday. It's not unusual at all. But what's behind this caffeine craze? Let's take a closer look. First off, it's essential to understand that coffee holds a special place in Finnish culture. It's more than just a beverage. It's a ritual, a social tradition. Coffee breaks, or kavitauko as they call it, are a cornerstone of Finnish work culture. They take their coffee seriously. And it's not just about the caffeine kick. You see, for Finns, sharing a cup of coffee is a way to connect, to bond with friends, family and colleagues. It's a moment to pause, unwind and exchange stories. That's why you'll find cozy coffee corners in almost every Finnish workplace and home. Finland also has a strong coffee industry of its own. They have a plethora of local coffee roasters, each with their own unique blends and flavors. From dark roasts to light, fruity notes, Finns take pride in their coffee craftsmanship, and they love to celebrate it too. Finland hosts some of the coolest coffee festivals in the world, bringing together coffee enthusiasts from all walks of life. Number 4. There are 187,888 lakes in Finland. Imagine a map of Finland. It's practically dotted with lakes. These aren't puddles, but lakes larger than 500 square meters. That's about the size of five average-sized houses put together. A total of 57,000 of these lakes stretch beyond 10,000 square meters. That's bigger than a football field. Lake Saima, the largest lake in Finland, covering 4,400 square kilometers. 
That's like having a whole water world of its own. And then there's Lake Pilinin, known for its crystal clear waters and stunning surroundings. These lakes aren't just bodies of water, they're natural wonders worth exploring. Finland's lakes aren't just about their sheer numbers, they play a vital role in the Finnish way of life. People here enjoy various activities like fishing, boating, and even swimming in these pristine waters. Plus, the lakes contribute significantly to the country's biodiversity, providing habitats for a wide array of plant and animal species. Some of these lakes are interconnected through a network of underground tunnels and channels. It's like Mother Nature's own plumbing system. This allows water to flow seamlessly between lakes, creating a unique ecosystem and ensuring a healthy balance. Number five. 74% of the country is forested. Did you know that Finland is Europe's most heavily forested country? According to the Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, forests as they define them, cover 23 million hectares, or a jaw-dropping 74.2% of Finland's total land area. That's like having more than three quarters of your country covered in lush green forests. In Europe, Finland is like a forest giant. There's over 16 times more forest per person in Finland compared to the European average. It's an incredible fact that truly sets Finland apart. You might be wondering, with all that forest, how's Finland managing to keep it sustainable? Well, here's the fascinating part. Despite intense harvesting over the last few decades and even the loss of land after wars, Finland's forest reserves are now greater than ever before in the 20th century, and they're still growing. The secret behind this success sustainable forest management. Finland takes it seriously. The forests are carefully monitored and a sophisticated inventory system tracks about a hundred different variables. These variables include not only the volume and composition of wood resources, but also soil health, vegetation cover, and the well-being of the trees themselves. It's like a forest symphony, perfectly orchestrated. The total volume of timber in Finnish forests amounts to nearly two billion cubic meters. To put that into perspective, it's enough timber to build a colossal wall 10 meters wide and 5 meters high around the entire globe. Imagine that. For as long as Finland has been an independent nation, the growth of these forests has consistently exceeded harvesting volumes and natural depletion. Today, the annual growth rate is about 75 million cubic meters, while only around 60 million cubic meters are harvested or die of natural causes. So, the forests are not just thriving, they're flourishing. When it comes to the total logged area, regeneration felling accounts for roughly one-third, and thinning makes up the other two-thirds. This approach ensures that the forests continue to thrive, providing a sustainable source of wood and maintaining the ecosystem's health. Number six, angry birds originated in Finland. Let's talk about angry birds. This addictive mobile game, which took the world by storm, was actually founded by students in Finland back in 2003. Fast forward to 2017, and the creators at Rovio Entertainment achieved something incredible. They took the company public with valuation of $1 billion. It's amazing how a simple concept turned into a global phenomenon. There's another iconic game that many of us might remember, Nokia's Snake. This game holds a special place in the hearts of early mobile phone users. But did you know it's finished too? Nokia, the giant in mobile technology, gave us this classic, which is arguably one of the most influential mobile games of all time. Moving on, we have another powerhouse in the mobile gaming world, Clash of Clans. This strategic masterpiece, loved by millions worldwide, was also born in Finland. Supercell, the company behind Clash of Clans, has left an indelible mark on the gaming industry, showing the world that Finnish creativity knows no bounds. Number seven world's strangest sports. When it comes to eccentric pastimes, Finland takes the cake. And at the top of the list is the Wife Carrying World Championship, an extreme obstacle course race, but with a twist. Every July, couples from all corners of the globe gather in Sonkajärvi, Finland, to carry their partners through a challenging course. And believe it or not, this event has turned into an international phenomenon. We've got teams from Denmark, Hong Kong, Australia, and more, all traveling here to experience the thrill of this one-of-a-kind event. I mean, it's definitely an unusual way to spend a honeymoon, but hey, who are we to judge? Finland doesn't stop at wife-carrying. Ever heard of mosquito hunting? 
There's an annual world championship for that too. Brave souls gather to see who can catch the most mosquitoes in a set amount of time. It's a quirky competition that really showcases the Finnish spirit. And if that's not enough, how about mobile phone throwing? This sport is all about chucking old, unwanted phones as far as you can. It's not only a fun way to let off some steam, but it's also great for the environment, encouraging recycling. Last, but certainly not least, we have the Air Guitar World Championship. This event celebrates the art of miming playing a guitar, and it's taken incredibly seriously here in Finland. The passion and energy from the participants are truly something to behold. Number 8. National Speeding Fines Will Make You Wince In Finland, speeding fines are calculated in a way that's quite different from most other countries. They base these fines on your income. That's right, your wallet's weight decides how heavy the fine will be. The minimum fine for speeding in Finland is Euro 115. But here's the kicker, folks, it can get way higher than that. If you're a repeat offender, or you're caught blazing down the road at an insanely high speed, the fines can skyrocket. Imagine you're a mega rich speed demon, and you've just been caught going way over the limit. Brace yourself, because in Finland, you could be facing a fine that's bigger than you can imagine. There's an infamous case where a super wealthy individual had to cough up over $200,000 for a single speeding offense. Yep, you heard me right. 200 grand for just one lead foot moment. Isn't that a bit extreme? Well, Finland takes road safety very seriously. And this system is designed to make sure that everyone, regardless of their income, feels the sting of a fine. It's all about making the punishment fit the crime. You see, the idea behind this income-based system is to ensure that fines are a deterrent for everyone. For someone with a lower income, a Euro 115 fine might already feel like a significant hit to their budget. But for someone who's rolling in cash, a mere Euro 115 wouldn't even make them bat an eyelid. By linking the fines to income, Finland aims to make sure that breaking the speed limit isn't just a financial inconvenience, but a real deterrent that encourages safer driving. Number 9. Finland built a lighthouse in Sweden by accident. A tiny island named Merkit in the Gulf of Bothnia, just 8.2 acres in size, sits at the westernmost point of Finnish territory. In 1885, when Finland was an autonomous part of Russia, they accidentally built a lighthouse on the Swedish side of the island. Construction workers on this remote island, with no Google Maps to guide them, were tasked with building a lighthouse to help ships navigate through these treacherous waters. But they didn't have modern GPS technology. Oops, the lighthouse ended up on the Swedish side. Since Merkit was uninhabited, no one really noticed this blunder for a hundred years. The whole thing was just swept under the rug. It was like a secret lighthouse on foreign soil. Flash forward to 1985, and it's finally time to make things right. The Swedish and Finnish governments decided to officially change the border, creating an unusual S shape. Why, you might ask? To ensure that the lighthouse was on Finnish territory, where it rightfully belonged. They made this border go all twisty just to accommodate that lighthouse. Talk about international cooperation. And that, my friends, is how Finland accidentally built a lighthouse in Sweden. It's a testament to the unique history and friendly relations between these two neighboring nations. Isn't it amazing how a simple mistake can lead to such a quirky story? Number 10. Finnish graduates receive interesting mementos. When you think of graduation, what comes to mind? Caps and gowns, right? Well, in Finland, they do things a bit differently. First up, instead of the traditional graduation cap and gown, Finnish high school graduates receive something very special. A sailor-style cap. Yes, you heard it right. This tradition dates all the way back to 1870. These caps, known as Yiliopilaslaki in Finnish, are a symbol of academic achievement. They're adorned with the student's school emblem and, of course, the year of graduation. Graduates wear these caps with immense pride, often adding pins and badges to personalize them. If you thought the sailor-style caps were unique, hold on to your seats, because PhD graduates in Finland are in for a treat. PhD graduates in Finland receive not just a cap, but a top hat. And that's not all. They also receive a sword. Yes, a sword. These special mementos symbolize the graduate's academic excellence and readiness to take on the world. You might be wondering why Finland has such distinctive graduation traditions. Well, it's all about celebrating education and the importance of learning in Finnish culture. Finland is known worldwide for its exceptional education system. It emphasizes equality, accessibility, and quality. 
Finnish students enjoy shorter school days, minimal homework, and an emphasis on creativity and critical thinking. These graduation traditions are just one example of how education is highly regarded in Finland. The country consistently ranks at the top in international education assessments. Number 11. Finland leads the way in Olympic medals. Finland holds a remarkable distinction in the world of sports. They've clinched a staggering total of 305 Summer Olympic medals. That's right, 305. Now, considering Finland's population, that's an incredible feat. This makes them the country with the most Summer Olympic medals per capita on the entire planet. 101 gold, 85 silver, and 119 bronze. Now, that's a display of consistent excellence. It's not just about winning, it's about maintaining that level of performance year after year. Let's talk about the Winter Olympics. Finland is no slouch here either. They come in second, only behind their Nordic neighbor, Norway. These nations have a rich tradition in winter sports, and it's truly inspiring to see them excel on the world stage. Finland is one of only two countries in the world to have won a medal at every Summer Olympic Games since their inception back in 1908. Can you believe that? That's over a century of consistent podium finishes. It's a testament to their dedication, talent, and the culture of sportsmanship deeply ingrained in the Finnish society. Number 12. Northern Lights You know, one of the most mesmerizing things you probably didn't know about Finland is the Aurora Borealis, commonly known as the Northern Lights. These enchanting lights dancing across the night sky are like a celestial masterpiece, and they're a must-see when you're in Finland. The further north you venture in Finland, the better your chances are of witnessing the Northern Lights. But there's one place that's almost like a Northern Lights magnet, Rovaniemi. Rovaniemi, nestled in Finnish Lapland, is a magical city that's known as one of the best spots to see the Northern Lights. Trust me, this place is nothing short of a winter wonderland. And the best part? It's not just about the lights. Rovaniemi offers a unique Arctic experience you won't find anywhere else. This city's location is key. It's situated right on the Arctic Circle, which means you're in prime Northern Lights territory. The clear, crisp winter nights here create the perfect canvas for those vibrant, dancing colors in the sky. Rovaniemi offers a host of amazing activities to complement your Northern Lights adventure. From husky sledding and snowmobiling to meeting Santa Claus himself, there's no shortage of excitement in this winter paradise. Now, timing is everything when it comes to the Northern Lights. The best time to visit Rovaniemi for this celestial spectacle is during the winter months from September to March. The longer, darker nights give you the ideal conditions for the lights to put on their show. Number 13. Finnish winter is characterized by the polar night. Finland, with its unique location in the far north of Europe, experiences some of the most extreme changes in daylight throughout the year. But what happens in winter is truly remarkable. Due to its high latitude, the sun never rises in the north, and in the south, it's only present for a short time. This prolonged period of darkness is known as the polar night. North of the Arctic Circle, which runs right through Finland, the polar night lasts for more than a whopping 50 days. Imagine going almost two months without seeing the sun. But even in southern Finland, along the Baltic Sea coast, the shortest day lasts just six hours. It's like a never-ending twilight. So, how do the resilient Finns cope with these long, dark winters? Well, it turns out they have some unique traditions and habits that help them embrace the polar night. First and foremost, they love to drink. Yes, you heard that right. Much like their neighbors in Norway and Sweden, the drinking culture in Finland is pretty heavy. In cities like Tampere and Helsinki, you'll find a bustling nightlife with locals and visitors enjoying their favorite brews. Another favorite pastime for Finns is visiting saunas. Saunas are deeply ingrained in Finnish culture, and they provide a cozy escape from the cold and darkness. In fact, Finland is known to have more saunas than cars, which is quite impressive. And of course, the Finns know how to be merry. They embrace the winter season with enthusiasm, celebrating various festivals and events that bring communities together. Whether it's Christmas markets, ice skating, or the famous Northern Lights, there's no shortage of ways to enjoy the season. Number 14. Finland is home to the rarest seal in the world. Meet the Saimaa ringed seal, the true gem of Finland's wildlife. 
These unique creatures have been calling the Saimaya Lake region home for a mind-boggling 8,000 years. After the last ice age, this region got cut off from the ocean, and guess what? These seals adapted beautifully to their new environment. They've carved out their own niche in this freshwater paradise. Despite their long history in the region, the Saimaw ringed seal is facing some serious challenges. Hunting, fishing, pollution, and various other factors have pushed their numbers perilously low. Can you believe it? We're talking less than 400 of these remarkable creatures left in the wild. It's heartbreaking to think that after millennia in this region, their existence is now hanging by a thread. Conservation efforts are underway to help these incredible creatures bounce back. Scientists, environmentalists, and local communities are joining hands to protect their habitat and ensure their survival. With dedicated conservationists working tirelessly, there's a genuine hope that the Saima ringed seal population will see better days. It's a race against time, but together we can make a difference. Number 15. First country in Europe to give all women the vote. Back in 1906, Finland, known then as the Grand Duchy of Finland, stepped up in a major way. It became the first country in Europe to grant women the right to vote. Now this was a progressive leap forward that paved the way for gender equality in politics. The same act not only granted women the right to vote, but extended it to men as well. That's right. Finland became the very first country in the entire world to allow both men and women to vote and hold public office. Imagine the impact of that decision. It wasn't just about giving women a voice, but about promoting equal representation for everyone in the political sphere. This groundbreaking move set the stage for Finland to become a global leader in gender equality. The country has consistently ranked high in gender parity indices and continues to be a shining example of progress and inclusivity. So, next time you think about the pioneers of women's suffrage, remember Finland and the remarkable step they took in 1906. It's a reminder that change is possible, and it all starts with a bold decision. And there you have it, folks. If you found this as intriguing as I did, give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more eye-opening insights into history and culture. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep making a difference. Thanks for watching.